All right, I have a problem with procrastination. What would you do to help with this? Man, so to me, it's all about accountability. You have to have accountability in place so that procrastination isn't even an option. Because procrastination is a normal human process that we go through, but you have to be able to avoid it as much as possible. And putting in accountability measures in place are, are what's going to stop you from hitting, hitting those, those periods of procrastination. So whether that's a person that holds you accountable, whether it is, you know, to-do lists or your calendars or your time blocking, there's a million different things that you can do to implement accountability, whether it's using social media as an accountability tool, posting your goals uh, in your Instagram stories or posting your goals on Facebook and then, you know, keeping, keeping track of those throughout the week and then posting your results so that you can measure your results versus your goals and you can actually do this publicly in a public platform on Sunday night Monday morning I would typically I, I travel a lot I spent 238 nights in a hotel last year about the same the year before that and year before that and I would get on there and I'd say hey my goal is to sell 75 life insurance policies this week I'm gonna be down in Georgia for four days by day four I literally have people messaging me saying like, hey man, I know you're going into your last day. I think you got like 12 policies you gotta sell to reach that goal, like we're rooting for you. I'm like, what the heck? And people don't realize how powerful that little bit of silly accountability is. Putting it on an Instagram story made you do it, right? And so you know that other people are holding you accountable to that uh, since you've put it out there. Um, those are gonna be you know, some of the ways that, that I go about doing it. Um, but accountability is, is always going to be key in order to help with your uh, problem with procrastination. And a strong why is going to go a long way as well. Uh, being able to refer back to your why. So why are you doing, like, whatever you're procrastinating, whatever you're needing to get done, why are you doing that? Like, what's the ultimate goal? What do you want to have happen as a result of all this work that's going in? And then being able to lean back on that, that picture of what life looks like when you accomplish X, so that when procrastination hits, you go, oh no, wait a second. Let me think back to, to where this is getting me, to what this, what this effort that I'm putting in right now is leading towards. And then that should, if the, if the why is right, if the ambition is correct, it should be able to snap out of it pretty quickly. Uh, but also, the last thing I'll say before I jump, you have to understand that you are going to lose motivation, you are going to have moments with lack of inspiration, you are going to have moments when you feel like procrastinating, that that is absolutely normal, so don't think there's something wrong with what you're doing, or the purpose behind it, or that it's the wrong thing, just because some procrastination is slipping in here and there. Uh, it's, a t it's a completely normal part of the human um, process and so to me it just becomes being hyper aware of when you are starting to procrastinate and then to be able to adjust quickly. Mm -hmm.